Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of this. And this, really, anybody should be able to draw some wood. Just take your two-point line, make it black and something. I'm gonna change it back. I did a video the other day with inches. Change it back to points so I know what I'm doing. And we're gonna make it black. And there's a lot you could do with this door. Um, you know, you don't have to power clip or anything, but see how you can see it. Let's make this longer. And you know, they might show through, so let's control D and make a duplicate. You might have to trim that. That looks good enough, but see, you can see the lines beyond it. So let's put this in front of the page and see what happens. No, nope, you can still see the lines because it's transparent. So you would need to power clip that or trim it. And you'd probably want to do that in this door. So let's uh, grab all our wood and kind of put it in this door shape. And maybe make it, this door might be wider than the door I just created. And then you never really want to know which way's what, but that'll work and then change them back to black other than a hairline, we'll make them two points, make them a little thick. And then you would just put your door into that hole. So that's, I wasn't gonna go over that part and I thought it better. So here's the badge I created, but here's the original. So a couple things you wanna do, this badge is, it's pretty big, it's almost eight and a half inches. So we're gonna set our nudge factor to nine inches. And I'm just gonna use the three point curve which I love. And I'm gonna go from right, right there to right there, and I'm just gonna get that curve. Now I'm gonna continue with that line, and I'm gonna put it there, and I'm, I didn't, must not have hit the line. The three-point curve line can almost do it all. Grab that line, and this is gonna be a little bit harder because it's, it's actually two curves in here. Okay, now we're gonna go grab, I need to zoom in here, see where my red line is, get back to our three-point curve. And let's, you, you know you're on there when it's got a node, then gotta give that a little bit of curve and then finish it. And then here's a good part for the three-point curve. Go all the way over to the other side and just get it pretty close. Now we're not worried about a lot of things, now I want to grab our badge and move it out of the way. We have half the badge done. Control D and make a duplicate of it and mirror it. Look at that. Now we're a little bit off somewhere on the curb, but we're going to use a smart fill tool. To I need to change my smart fill to something other than white. I was doing something. Whenever I open up somebody's, somebody else's uh, file, I get their colors, and you know, if you're a laser engraver, you wanna be set on RGB, and I wanna make it black. So now we're gonna smart fill this in black. And what the smart fill does, it fills all that in. And I must have nudged it one too many times or something. So we can get rid of all this. Now just left click, right click, and you have the outside of the badge. Now this badge has an inner part. Well, let's use the contour tool. We're gonna to contour it to the inside. Let's say 0.125, see what it does. That's not enough, forgot how big it, 0.125. My, my number lock was lock, unlocked. Not enough, 0.25. That's close enough for the video, and you see I've got a perfect shape. Then this was probably gonna be the hardest part. And see, then you just take your Alamo in that we've created and put it up top, and, and I'm gonna show that hopefully in the later video, how to make it disappear from that. So this part, the ribbons, or whatever you wanna call them, are a little bit different than most ribbons 
And the ones you get in Corel, if you go to Common Shapes and pick this ribbon right here and just draw you a ribbon, see how it's squared off? Well, there's a couple things you can do, and it's also these ribbons are a lot shorter and kind of angling up. We're going to do the bottom one first. Let's bring it down here pretty close to it. So this is probably the most difficult part, but it's really not that bad. We're gonna convert this to a curve. Well, you really can't. So what we need to do, we're gonna take the Smart Fill tool. Let's see how big this is. It's only like, so two inch nudge, we'll put it down. That's what happened a while ago. My numbers were locked. And just use the Smart Fill tool and get that part, nudge it down, get this part, nudge it down, get that part, nudge it down. Now we can draw in that line later. And we're going to left click, right click. And what that did, that created this a better object to work with. And even though it's three parts, we can join it together. But before we join it together, let's grab these nodes and kind of move them up like in the video or like in this deal. And you could play with this for hours. Now, instead of trying to mimic that one, control D and make a duplicate of it and mirror it, and then take it, grab that node right there and have it locked to it. Now we need to kind of group this together. Control G. And we're gonna get out the envelope tool. And we want it to come down. I'm actually gonna get rid of the, these center two nodes. I do not need them. I'm gonna grab these two nodes and I'm just gonna bring it down. See how now I've got a curvature? Now we need to make it longer because of the fact that that, that department. Now what's nice about this, these are both the same. So you can use them both the same, just control D and make a duplicate and mirror it the other way. This one's a little shorter and just bring it in. And then if you had nudged correctly because my numbers were locked, let's just do this. Let's put this right on top of that. We're actually a little bit We're a little bit off for some reason, but you can always, and you're making a badge. Uh, they're not gonna compare it to their badge. Uh, once they see it engraved on wood, they're gonna love it. So then you can nudge this out of the, I'm gonna put my nudge factor on something higher, like six inches. I'm gonna nudge this out of the way, and I'm gonna put these things right on top of them, kind of get my size We'll bring this totally in and just kind of get your size. Now in this one, we should actually bring these up and that's not quite big enough. And if you're working at home, you could actually make your lines th thicker so you could see them a little bit better. Well, that's gonna be a little bit too big, but once you get it kind of in the middle, then you can nudge it over and that's where it should fall in this, of course, is a little bit off. But you're just, you know, unless the police officer is uh, that picky, uh, I think anybody's gonna be happy. Anyway, just kind of move these around till you get out of the way. And then I'm just gonna show you one more thing. Let me set my nudge factor a little bit lower. 0.125. You would want this in the center so you might want to put everything in the center. But that looks pretty good, and then I just, I filled it in with gray. You know, we need to put that bar across the top. I, I'm not gonna make a video on this. This was a little bit time consuming, uh, making these arches, and to kind of make it look like the badge. But this is how you could put the Alamo behind it. Let's go ahead and fill this line in with black. Let's put our Alamo back behind there. Doesn't look like our doors came. 
control G and group it all together. Just kind of put it down in there, get it even. And we've got a little bit of trash below. See if we can't get rid of that. And one thing you could always do if you got some trash below like that, but we, their doors aren't, um, let's use the envelope tool and just bring that bottom down a little bit. It shouldn't have tweaked the body too much. You can't see it. It's behind there. Let's take this away. And there it is. But once that is filled in with a different color, you can't see it. Now, I missed a step about putting San Antonio up here, but that's an easy uh, way to do anything. And I don't think it's, this video is going to be that much helpful for too many people, but it can be done. And this is called reverse engraving, or, or this is just normal engraving, where this is going to be your wood. This is going to barely, and for the gentleman I did it for, you might want to put an outline around it so it'll kind of show up in black and maybe make it a little bit thicker. And always remember to scale with object. That is the way I would run it. Maybe just an outline around here, not an outline around the Alamo. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.